Kevin Bacon reveals he destroyed abandoned home on his farm over fears it was haunted. Kevin Bacon has revealed that he destroyed an abandoned home on his farm shortly after he bought it because the previous owner was so spooked out by it and believes it was haunted. Kevin Bacon has admitted that he destroyed an abandoned home on his farm, after the previous owner shared his belief that it was haunted. In order to buy the Connecticut farm back in 1983, he had to agree to knock down the outhouse on the property, or else the previous owner wouldn't sell the home to him. The Footloose star told listeners on Rob Lowe's Literally podcast, One of the pieces that we bought had an old house in it and the owner didn't want me to own the house. It was an abandoned house that he had grown up in. We kind of went back and forth on it for a while and then, eventually, I said, Listen, you can't sell me a piece of land but not sell me the house that's on it. Like, that's just weird. What if you sell it and there's somebody that's just living, basically, right up in the backyard? Kevin, 65, claims that the old owner had a ghostbuster come and try to get rid of the spiritual entities in the home. He was also concerned that Kevin would get possessed and could do some serious damage. The Golden Globe winner explained that the two went back and forth on this haunted house thing for a while until they formed the agreement that Kevin had to destroy the old house within a month of purchasing the property. Elsewhere in the podcast, Rob asked Kevin whether he had ever tempted fate and spent a night in the spooky house. However, the actor confessed that he wanted no part in the supernatural business going on. He said, Not only did I not do that, but I went up there and there were some beautiful old pine boards and a banister and I said to my wife, Kira, Sedgwick, we've got to take those out. And she's like, No you're not. You're not putting those F asterisk asterisk king things in our house, Kevin concluded. And to, to both of us that, you know, uh, I needed a bikini line wax. And so, oh. you know, I, I kind of thought like, <laughs> Break just out the I'm used to getting, you know, man <laughs> manicures, pedicures, bikini line waxes, you know. Uh, and, um, you know, I mean, I think that part of me was like, I mean, how hard, how hard could it be? Sure, that A, like the wax is not too hot, which it was, and it was fine. But also that like you have to use small pieces of cloth because if you use too big a piece of cloth, like <laughs> it's just too painful and too hard. I'm not saying it was a disaster, but like the fact that we did not have to go to the emergency room was just <laughs> an absolute miracle. I mean, there was there were moments where I was like, I thought you knew how to do this. My God, what are you doing? That's such a huge speech. She's like, I didn't say I knew how to do this. You said I knew how to do this. And I was like, but well, you're good at everything. He's like, well, I'm not good at that. 